Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. So today is gonna be kind of a quick video. I have my grandson, he's off from school for two weeks, so I gotta kinda sneak him in there really quick. But I wanna let you know that anything that I use in today's video will be in the description below. That's including links to the products, um, discount codes, and the way I mixed my colors, I will have a mixing video in the description also for those that are interested. So first off, I have some really pretty colors here. Uh, these are colors I made on my own, combining my primary elements together. You can do that. Not sure if you know that, but let's say you have wild jasmine and you want to add a little carmine to it you could just take a couple pinches of each color and mix them together don't use your fingers to do it though because you'll have stained fingers a couple of pinches meaning you know a couple flakes on a spoon so that's what this color is right here this actually is indian spice and i added a few drops like three drops of Nickel Azo Gold. You can also do that. Add a couple of drops of a transparent tube paint to your primary elements because you don't want to block out the shimmer. You'll see in this, I still have all of my shimmer. Even though I added that little tiny bit of transparent tube paint. Okay, so that's that one. And I'm sorry, that was not Indian Spice. It was ginger peach with a few drops of the nickel azo gold. This here is ja uh, Wild Jasmine, my favorite color of all time from Color Art. I just love that hot pink. I am an 80s girl, born in the 70s, grew up in the 80s. You know how it goes. <laughs> We all have our favorite errors. So there's that one. Then I have, and I don't know why I keep shutting off my flash. This here is another primary element where I added a little tiny, tiny bit of uh, black, believe it or not. So this was Love Struck, and I added like three drops of a fluid carbon black just to really deepen it up this is one of the new colors from the glass wing butterfly set called oasis it's a beautiful blue with a green shift to it and then i have one tube paint which is golden teal that's it so all primary elements one to paint, and I'm going to use a black and possibly white cell activator. I'm not sure on a cell activator yet, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first cover my entire canvas, which is a 12 by 24 canvas, with my white house paint that has been thinned down with a very minimal amount of water. So for this huge 32-ounce cup, I added in two and a half ounces of water not much at all just enough to kind of loosen it up so the way that i do my canvas is i just pour some on and i tilt it around until it's covered that's it there is no certain depth or anything like that to the paint i just tilt it around and make sure the entire thing is covered um, you just want it to be a nice even layer You don't want your colors swimming in puddles of paint when you do something like this. Just tilt it around and then once the entire thing is covered, you want the, the paint to kind of just be like at a drip, drip, drip off your canvas stage, not pour, pour, pour. When it starts to drip, then you know that your canvas is covered 
there's enough paint on the surface surface and you can stop tilting so I'm just gonna come over on this side here and if you have to add more paint you can do so due to the fact that I have a little gremlin in the background uh, from this point forward I'm just gonna let you watch the video the making of wildflowers I absolutely love the way it turned out I love the way the colors blended together but I'll let you be the judge of that uh, just a quick note this month's sponsor and viewer giveaway will be held Sunday June 6th at 7 30 p.m eastern standard time right here on my channel and it will be live i have some really great boxes built for sponsors and viewers gift cards as always so let me just quiet it up now and let you watch this video
So here's the painting from my last video. You can see I altered it with some resin and some crystals, and I love the way it looks. Uh, dried perfectly, and that is KS Resin that I use. Discount code is in the description. This was made with uh, the glass wing color from the glass wing butterfly set. If you're interested in seeing how I made the swipe portion of the painting, that is in the video below. I did not film applying the resin coat and the uh, crystals though. This here is a 10 by 20. This is available. It has a beautiful resin finish and I also blinged it up a little bit. So it's looking for a new home. If you're interested, you can email me artbytammy at yahoo.com. And I had made this using my interference powders from Color Art. There is also a video for this on my channel. You'll see it in the feed. And uh, although I did not film doing the resin and the crystals, that was an afterthought. But I will be doing some stuff like this on my channel in the very near future. It's not hard, really. Add some resin and some crystals and you're good to go. Coming up next, I have a few sets of coasters available. Uh, these were made with the new Glasswing Butterfly set colors. And they are galaxy themed. Absolutely beautiful in person. This is four coasters I am made using the pearl technique and uh, all coasters are finished with chaos resin. It has a very high heat tolerance so it's great for hot cups and cold cups. Uh, here's another four set coasters, four sets, four pieces of, oh my god. <laughs> a set of four coasters, there we go made with primary elements and coated in resin also they're all coated in resin this is a cute little jewelry box that i have available uh, this was just a flip cup with some silicone i cleaned it up and did a nice three coats of resin on that applied a nice little cushion to the bottom and it is ready now this is the only set that comes with six coasters uh this is also available made with uh, primary elements interference colors and one tube paint so all those colors you're seeing are from the interference pigments from color art and that's it my friends I want to thank you for joining me please consider subscribing if you haven't already and until the next one happy pouring <laughs>